Hey, hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to part 3 on CMS Blogging System. Today we will be going ahead and we will be writing the codes to create a very beautiful admin panel. But very first, we need a login page from where we can authenticate the users based on their access levels and based on the credentials they were they gonna enter. So, out here, I have my local host open with my PHP admin, and I'm gonna create a database. I will be naming it to CMS. And uh, inside it, I would be creating my very first table, and uh, we would be naming it users. And I believe for now we need five fields, and if there would be any more, we will be adding them there. So we need an ID, then we need a name, we need an email, and uh, after the email, we need a password. Then we need the IP address from where the person is logging in. Then let's say add two more fields. We need the time, at what time the person logged in. That would be the last log time. And uh, in the very last, we need the access level. So what kind of access level that particular user has. So the ID would be an integer, the name would be a varchar, email would be a varchar as well, and uh, password would be a varchar, IP address would be a varchar again, and the last log time would be date time. And the access level would be a small integer. Because if you want, you can add one more field for a very small bio, and you can name it to text and uh, then the name would be let's say 100 email would be 150 password 100 IP address to 20 and it would be 3 and the very last our ID would be an auto increment and a primary key okay so this way we have our very first table set up in our CMS database with the name of users. Now we would be writing the code to create a login page from where we can actually authenticate the users. But very first, we need to create first user. That would be the actual super admin who have all the rights. So I'm gonna insert one. And later, there would be a functionality in the admin panel from where you can actually add the user so you don't have to come to your backend again and again. So name, I'm going to say admin, the email, uh, you can leave it to anything, the password for me, it would be admin, IP address to let's say my local IP address, the last lock time, I'm not going to enter anything, I will update it later, and my access level would be 4, that would be for the super admin. Then I need the password to be MD5 hash. Okay. Now it looks everything good. It says one double sorted. Okay, it's look pretty nice. Now we would be going ahead and we would be creating a page inside our admin folder, and uh, I'm gonna name it to login.php. Okay, and then we need a folder. I'm gonna name it to CSS, and another folder. That would be scripts. And one more point guys. That would be for our JavaScript file. So I'm gonna open the login.php file. Okay. With some HTML tags. And in CSS, I would be creating a file. I'm gonna name it to custom.css. We will open it as well. So inside the login.php very first, we're gonna make it a link to our actual style sheet. So that would be CSS slash custom.css. Okay, then we have a green wrapper. 
and inside the main wrapper we can actually create our uh, login area so I'm going to say dev ID login form and I'm going to take any kind of a class off and there would be an NVSP out here so very first we're going to design this particular login form how it will look on the actual page and uh, inside the custom.css uh, first I'm going to import some default CSS you will get it from Google you just need to type default CSS tall sheet for HTML file and I believe the very first link will give you a bunch of styles that you can copy them and paste from here and uh, if you guys are you know amazed how I get it with a single a letter like, like I only type this particular excl uh, exclamation mark and uh, then I got my entire style sheet as this is a functionality of the in type where you can actually create bundles and you can give the shortcuts to those bundles so I have created this particular bundle and my shortcut is to this particular form okay so you can uh, read about it more you can download and type if you guys are interested but for now we will continue with our login screen so here I'm gonna say main styles starts here okay first we would be taking care of our body I'm gonna say background color would be white okay and uh, then we're gonna have the font color to 3030 that is actually very near to black but not the actual black after that we would be having the font family So I'm happy with the, this aerial sensor if and uh, MS3 Boucher, whatever. After that, uh, we're going to have the font size. That would be 11 pixels by default. Okay. And uh, I'm going to give zero padding and zero margin to all of my elements inside my all pages. So margin would be zero pixels and padding would be zero pixels as well. And this particular star stands for all in CSS. Okay. And uh, out here, I'm going to say div ID main wrapper. This will have a width to 100%. And then I'm going to have the div ID login form. I'm going to say width to 400 pixels then the margin would be auto to make it center and uh, giving in some margin from top to 200 pixels okay and uh, a background just for now to ca 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 let's see how it looks okay <coughs> now here i'm gonna say login.php <coughs> okay this is how it looks here we would be having our actual login form. Let's looks pretty fine. So I will just take everything off from you. I'm gonna make a H2 tag. And uh, I'm gonna say login area. And down here I would be creating a form that would be a method of post and the action to login.php itself with no ID and no name and inside it I'm going to create a div I'm going to say div I class form elements okay and inside here I'm going to create a label that would be the label for username then there would be um, input that would be input type text name would be username well there would be nothing we're gonna have a placeholder to enter username okay and then there would be an ID to username same way we're gonna copy it for one more time 
I'm going to paste it here and paste it here. Out here would be the label for password. Then I'm going to have input type to password as well. Name to password. And the ID to password as well. Here would be error password. Okay. Uh, here we would be creating our submit button, so we don't need any table, but we can leave the text there. So I can say input type submit. Name would be login to admin panel. Okay. Out here, we cannot have any placeholders for our submit button, so we need to have a value. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say value would be login. Come back, see how it looks. Uh, okay, we have our login form, but it's uh, you know a bit ugly. That's fine. We're gonna make it show. Sure.